Hello, I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to extract vocals or instrumentals from a music recording. So here we are in Adobe Audition, and of course, this does depend very much on how the track you're working with was recorded. But for instance, here is a jingle with just pure music, and then eventually you will hear vocals coming in as well, singing with the music underneath, like this. MRC Live is where it's at Mike has so many tricks in his head Okay, so let's work with, well, first of all, removing the vocals. And you're going to go into Effects, and you'll look under Stereo Imagery, and you're looking for Center Channel Extractor. Let's set this to default. And the first thing we're going to do is focus on these two faders over here. Center Channel Level, which are your vocals, and Side Channel Levels, which are the instruments. Let's set these both to 0 dB. So we start from a, a clean start. Not much going on at the moment. Now let's start to drop the center channel, which will be our vocals. And you can hear as I'm dropping that down, the vocals are dropping in the mix. So this is great if you feel that the track had the vocals mixed in too loud or too quiet, you can actually change the levels. Let's do this. So now, obviously, the instrument's are overpowering the vocal there a little bit. We can push that up, so we can push that up a few dB. MRC Live. Obviously distorting now a little bit and peaking, uh, but you get the idea of how you can change levels. And as we pull this all the way down... So as you can hear, the more I pull the center channel down, the more the vocals disappear, which is pretty good. You can do it the other way around, of course, as well. You can leave the center channel here and pull the side levels down. MRC Live is where it's at. And you can kind of get an a cappella version, although you will still hear some background noise from the instruments conflicting, obviously, with the uh, center channel, with the, um, the vocals that are left there in the middle. MRC... So let's go back and let's further refine this. Let's actually pull out those uh, vocals. Now you can drop them by, say, minus 14 dB. If you want like a karaoke track, for whatever reason, you're creating a track and you still want the vocals to be there, but not present so that the singer can actually do most of the work. Uh, but if you want to completely get rid of these, you might want to go in and refine some of these uh, settings here to make it a really good remix with no vocals included uh, and just an instrumental. Let's switch from full spectrum to custom. And this is where we can change the frequencies, the center frequency uh, and also the width. I'll show you what they all mean, but let's start with the low end. That's the 20 hertz and let's push that up. So as I push that start frequency up, you'll hear that the low end of the vocals are coming in. So we want to pull this down just enough so that we're getting rid of the vocals. Around 200 hertz. And that will mean that it's just getting rid of the vocals and leaving as much of the instruments in place as possible. We'll do the same with the end frequency. We'll pull this down now. And you can hear, as I pull it down, we're starting to reintroduce the vocals. So let's push it up until we hear those vocals disappear. And around 16,000 hertz, I think we're pretty much agreeing there that the vocals have gone. Center frequency is 8433, where the majority of the vocals are occurring. And there's our width between the start and end frequency. So a pretty good way to eliminate vocals or isolate vocals, depending on what you're trying to achieve using each different fader with ease inside Adobe Audition.